Hi, there has been this very sad and tragic news of a 14-year-old girl electrocuted in the bathtub. According to KCBD News, Madison has been using her mobile phone in the bath while it was plugged in to be charged. In an interview with her grandmother, she said Madison dropped the phone in the tub and then tried to pick it up and that's when the tragedy happened. She said it was obvious because Madison had burn marks on her hand. It might be easy to say the obvious that you shouldn't take your electronics with you to take a bath. But mistakes happen to all of us all the time. If you recall, I just grabbed the 2000 volt AC when my Jacob's ladder fell right on me. Unfortunately, her story shows that the universe rarely lets you off with a warning. Also, there are products out there that encourage you to take your electronics with you into the bathtub. I'm pretty sure many people plug their devices in to charge and probably many of them accidentally drop them in the bathtub. But is it dangerous? I believe this tragedy must be rectified properly so people know what can kill you in a bathtub. If this is true that the unfortunate girl was electrocuted while holding her mobile phone in a bathtub, they must go after the phone manufacturer and hold them responsible. This is a very serious accusation. Something like this must not happen by design. First, let's see how you can get electrocuted in a bathtub. I have my wires plugged in with green being earth. Now if I measure the resistance between earth and the faucet, it is a short to earth and this one is also shorted to earth the drains there's like three four kilo ohms to earth yeah and that compared to body resistance of over 100 kilo ohm is also pretty much a short now I measure the voltage between the live wire and the faucet and I'll read around 120 volt AC so while you're standing in the conductive soapy waters, if you for some reason touch the live wire or drop a toaster or hair dryer in the soapy water, the electricity will run through the water through your body to the faucet or drain, which will shock you or likely electrocute you. But the charging mobile phone is not like a toaster, the live wires don't run into the phone. See, every single wall adapter out there must have their outputs isolated from the input live and neutral lines per strict standards. The output lines of a mobile phone charger are within 5 volts of each other. So compared to 120 volt or 240 volt AC input, they are pretty much at around the same voltage. See, I have a 5 volt supply here and with soapy hands, I don't feel the 5 volt, even on my tongue, it's a little uncomfortable but nothing little. And all the voltages in a mobile phone and its charging cable are around the same non lethal level. So dropping it in a bathtub is not harmful. <laughs> if something like this happens, turn off your phone right away and remove its battery if possible, then dry it and shake the water out as much as possible, then put it in a bag of rice. Close it and leave it overnight so that the rice can suck the moisture out of your phone. It helps if you leave it in a warmer place. Then pray to Lord Electron to have mercy on your phone. Anyways, the phone side voltages are very small DC voltages unless they are riding on the live voltage, which would mean that those voltages are not isolated from the live line. But that must not happen by design. Like I said, per standard, we should have great isolation between the input and output of the wall adapter. I have my power cables here, and if I measure between earth and the live wire, I'll read around 120 volt AC. I also have my Android phone plugged in and opened its back cover, so I have this connection here to the charging cable. If I touch between this connection and earth, I should be totally safe because they are isolated. If I measure the voltage across earth and this connection, I'll see that it's around 13 volt AC. But it is a stray voltage that cannot output any power. And if I touch across this voltage, it will drop to zero because my body is shorting it. Same thing with the iPhone charger. If I touch between these connections, I'm still completely safe. And if I measure the voltage, it's 30 volts AC. But when I touch across them, it pretty much drops to zero. Let's look at these voltages using a scope. I am measuring the 5 volt output of the wall adapter reference to earth ground. You see there is 5 volt difference between the two lines riding on some distorted AC voltage. If I touch between them, the AC pretty much drops to zero. But if there was no isolation between the input and output, the AC voltage would be much larger and it wouldn't go away when I touched it. But I would um, shimmy to the left, shimmy to the right before I drop dead. So if you drop your phone in the water and then pick it up, you should be pretty safe. Unless it's a knockoff made by your shady neighbor in their basement. I'm talking about the designs that actually follow the standards. 
So if she was in fact electrocuted, then why? Well, maybe she dropped the wall adapter in the water, completely submerged it, and then plugged it in. Ow! So I guess this. Oh, this is pretty dead. See, soapy water is much more conductive than regular water. It shorts everything together, and with everything soaked, it just takes the electricity straight from the contacts to your fingers. And with you standing in the top, close to the earth, it runs through your body to earth and can shock you. But I don't think that's what happened either. She was an intelligent girl. She wouldn't just pick up a fully soaked wall adapter and plug it into the power. It might be something else. Okay. Slippery. I could take it off. Ow! Maybe that's it. I tried to pull out the wall adapter with my soapy hands and they slipped. So I tried to shove my fingers under the wall adapter and they touched the exposed contacts. Like I showed before, you don't need to insert the plug all the way to make a contact, which leaves the contacts all exposed. And with her tinier fingers, it would be easier for her to reach under the wall adapter and touch the contacts. But why would she try to unplug the wall adapter all wet and soapy? I have a theory. It might be totally wrong though. I think she dropped the phone into the top. Thinking that this would damage the phone, she tried to unplug it as quickly as possible to save the phone. Being all soapy, she didn't have a good grip, so she forced her fingers under the wall adapter and touched the power contacts. Well, naturally, there has been some update to the story since I started making this video and my theory was wrong. Madison's family was kind to share more information with KCBD News. The photo posted by Madison before the tragedy shows that because the charger cord was too short and she wanted to use her phone in the bathtub, she used an extension cord. According to the reports, the extension cord was frayed and had the power lines exposed which she wasn't aware of. And unfortunately, she touched that area and the tragedy happened. The phone or the charger were never dropped in the water. Even if the wire was not frayed, from what I showed, using an extension cord and bringing the live wire so close to the bathtub is asking for trouble. So please, if you want to use your electronics in the bathroom, use them on battery or otherwise forget about it. Also, never use a damaged extension cord. They can cause fire and put you or your family's life in danger. In any case, I also like to call for a change to North American plugs. They must never be exposed to touch when they're hot. And really, it's as easy as covering the first quarter inch of the contact like this with some overmolded plastic. As long as the contacts are touching the live lines, nothing is exposed. I should thank Madison's family for providing the details and helping to raise awareness. I hope the information on this tragedy helps make everyone else a bit safer. Of course, the links to the reports are provided in the description below if you like more details. Giveaway. Sorry, I don't have anything to give away this time, but you could give away by sharing this video and making everyone else safer. Thank you.